Good morning, everybody. You can tell it's morning just by the way my hair is settled in, on my head. So I put the word out in the universe if anybody wants to come help out on the Fox, and then all of a sudden, a Wild West showed up. So what's gonna help me uh, get this to the point where we, we're gonna start it, hopefully? One thing didn't show up that we really needed was the gas tank, but we'll do without it for now. Cable crimpers, battery cable, more cable, and a cutoff switch. We're gonna start by mounting this thing with this plate in the car. Hey, I'll go like this. So we got some battery cable. We've got some cable crimpers. I've never used them yet, so we're about to see if it works at all. I don't know if there's one taking it. That one? That one? Maybe? Maybe. There you go. Maybe? Maybe a little, another pinch above it. No, no, keep that size, just because it's not that thick. There you go. I don't know, you tuck this side, I'll tuck this side. Okay. It's holding. I put it in my vise, but the vise isn't mounted. And then there's a new vise Wes brought, so we gotta mount that one. So from here, down to the frame where we don't have a grommet yet, down to our cutoff switch. If you wanna get under there and mark where we can cut that one, and then... The creeper was literally right there. This is easier. <laughs> so concentrated, so flawless. Look at that red heat shrink. Semi-professional professionals. Dang. Only a bunch more of those to make. So we got to the battery, to the cutoff, from the cutoff, up to that power lug. Wes is gonna do the one from the power lug to the starter, and I'm going to reroute our holly, which was here, and everyone got mad at me for it. So I'm gonna reroute this one to the back with the ground wire straight to the battery. So I ran my holly wires all the way to the back. I didn't tuck them in yet. This is just to make sure that everything works. Then we'll tuck it in afterwards. Cable to the starter, done. Um, this needs an end put on it now. And dummy like myself, I have to figure out which wire of here gives power to the inside of the car, to all those fuses on the inside so we can still start this thing with the key. So we have to figure out which one of these is power to the inside and which one of these was um, key signal out so we can run that to the um, solenoid. We're gonna see how our jank ass wiring ended up. So we have our ground wire here actually, which is this wire, because we didn't buy enough of the uh, one gauge wire. So that's just temporary. And then we found the power wire for the inside and the starter solenoid for the inside, maybe. So we're gonna test to see if it'll crank with the key now. We know we had the right wire because as soon as we put power to it and turn the key forward, the windshield wiper started working. Okay, wait, let's, we'll locate the fire extinguisher first. I was just gonna ask that. Oh, there by the, uh... So we're gonna see if it cranks. We don't got fuel, so we're okay. It just cranks with the key, bro. Yeah. Almost like we know what we're doing sometimes. I ordered pizza because I'm like super fancy and stuff. That's what we're having for lunch. Wes is out here smoking Smoking meat? Smoking meat. I was gonna eat meat. A little bit more fancy than my pizza that I ordered. Uh, we're not trying to use a four and a half inch hole saw to put a hole in the floor to half submerge the fuel tank so it kind of fits. Ow. This isn't working very good right here. My hole is too big. <laughs> Fell into that one, didn't I? Dude, you keep twisting. Like, you're watching, I can watch all the metal twist as it Bites, the hey, whole floor twist. Who's your fucking plasma cutter? At least with the awkward body position, you can't get yourself in the nose with the drill. Yeah, <laughs> first time not catching myself in the face. The reason I don't want to use a plasma cutter is because I haven't used it before. And it, like, things like, like catch on fire. Quality? Yeah, you already caught the car on fire once. Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, Boosted Lifestyle is now unionized. Right. We got uh, Wes is a supervisor, button. Dan's the pervert in charge of perverting. I'm videoing <laughs> and Kyle's the one doing the work. So we're unionized. This hole's a two-man job. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Get it? Hey! Must be the money! Woo! Told you not to disturb me when I'm cleaning my room! Get it? <laughs> Get my hair cut! This so I don't get probed. The mullet looks good too. Give us a side shot of the, <laughs> the bowl with the mullet. Should I bowl cut my mullet? Oh man. Like the rest of it? So this technically is gonna fit. This is literally the only place we could find that this thing will fit, so. He gonna play peekaboo. Like this. Oh yeah? I just have to build 
build a plate down here now for it. That actually looks pretty good. That's gonna work? That's gonna work really yep. good. And then it should give you, based on the brackets that are there, enough room in front of the back seat to be able to come up and organize your lines and then go back underneath the car. car. Remember, everything up there has to be boxed in. Yep. You got, uh, is that the app? Corey Trevor. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut a little um, section out of this, kind of matches underneath, so that our lines can come down over the top of this piece right here and down along this piece. And then we just have to build a cover around the outside of this to isolate it so it's mainly under the car. It's like a Bob Marley concert in here, bro. Get your money worth on that one. If you take the guard, the safety guard off, you get more use out of your cutoff blade. I don't think we should do that. I've seen some uh, hose of blades exploding, and I don't want my blade to explode because I see like safety glasses and then like the blades like sticking out of the safety glasses and like hits them in the forehead. The trike? Do it? I don't care. It might not be fun when it's so hard out like now. Dan knows a thing or two about riding hard. I'd be, going, I'd be going up the street, mind you. Riding dirty. I'll right. take some I'll 20 take bucks. The cart? I'll go. Let's go. Right here. Let's go. You're probably getting high centered. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be so wet. had a visitor drive down the laneway which goes absolutely nowhere so one can only assume that he was looking for some hooligans doing things but there's nothing weird in this garage this sick whip though shortly after getting back from this thing doing 51 kilometers an hour uh, the small residential alleyway was graced presence by the uh, police I'm assuming they were probably looking for unlaw-abiding citizens not folks like ourselves uh, we always follow the law. We would never do anything wrong. Uh, I'm trying to convince Wes to put uh, Moretz on fuel pump wiring, but uh, he insists on doing it right. Gotta do it right, man. Bull Look at shit. that. No yellers, no Look care. Kyle's under the car with his sexy. There, yeah. Yeah. The grinder being mounted over there? It's a bench vice, Kyle. Ben the, only, the only mounted grinder <laughs> is on the phone. A vice mounted. Finally. So, well, I didn't buy it. Wes brought it. Yeah. And he's so, not even mounting it. So I'm everybody mounting. that bitched at Kyle, Wes not only brought a vice, brought a vice. But he's mounting the vice. That's Kyle all. Look at this. And it's a big jabroni. Wes getting her Number all six. Getting her all figured out. So for now we're just temporary mounting our fuel pump out here. It is hooked into the Holly wiring. So this is actually gonna be activated by the Holly. But I don't like to mount things permanently if I don't know they're going to work. So we ran a line from here to the fuel filter to the rail back. Our regulator is going to be permanently mounted there. So we mounted that one and uh, back to the surge tank. Uh, we got to put the coils on it, get some fuel in it, and then try and start it with the key because it's essentially all hooked up to the key now. Maybe put some oil in it too. Oil too, yeah. Remember, BoostedLifestyle.com, all your merch, check it out. BoostedLifestyle.com. Look at my eye, it's all red. I got some metal in it earlier. And I don't really know if it's out or not, but it's definitely irritated now. I just checked the signal uh, from the fuzzy peaches to my taste buds. We're good there. 
Okay. I was getting a similar reading. We forgot to ground the relays so that wouldn't prime the pump the pump over there. Don't hit the don't hit the positive one, that's all. Yeah. Two stupid heads over there. <laughs> this wrench is huge. I know. And that's why I got my finger over the positive. Jeepers. The adjustable hammer. Okay, let's even prime now. Yep. Yep. Hey! Don't point me at point at the throttle, there's no throttle kid. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna turn on the jumper pack. Because okay, I turned no, it off because you were around too long. Oh. But the good part is. I was just gonna say, I smell C16. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click that on. And then. Some more fuzzy peaches. We might have to add more fuel pressure to that. I don't know what the fuel pressure reading is. Tighten it? That's why I brought you mine, because it was already set. Connector? No, because we're definitely <laughs> firing on that side. Well, it runs on half cylinders. <sighs> like that four cylinder life? Straight up. Four cylinder life. Compton. From the hood. Whacked all my homies. Off. Good. Wait, what? It's not firing on this side at all. I'm not, firing on I'm not getting anything out of this side. <laughs> I mean, it did start on four. It started on four for a moment there, and it stayed running as I turned the key off, yeah. which is good. Saw the Canadian tire, I said, I bet you my homies would like a fuzzy peach or two. One of the plug wires off, put a plug on it, see if it. Kyle. Would have heard if it He licked my finger. Right Kyle gave Dan a spark plug, and Dan took it into broad daylight and scratched it. He just yeeted it. it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. That's 12 volts. Yeah. Low voltage on the. So you're only getting 3 volts to the passenger side injectors. Yep. 3.2 volts. Weird. That is so weird. Yep. Like we're getting... That's right on the injector clip. We're getting 12 volts to those injectors mm -hmm. and 3 volts to these ones. Sensor. Dan's brain's doing things. There's not. That's the thing. It smells like burn rubber. If it is, there's two different power wires here. Injectors. But where would you even get 3 volts from right now? No, no, no. Unless you're getting a feedback. Back Just back. a passive... Oh, 13 12. volts on that one. Mm -mm. 12 on that one. We got a finch somewhere. So yeah, see, look, all four of them are going to one and the same here. Well, if we plug this back in, what do we get for voltage again now? So we're going to go voltage again. We're going to see. Now we're getting 13 volts there. By plugging it in again. Yeah, it might have been a bent pin or something. Some faulty connection. Okay, now you just. Oh, I love that. Now we're going to fire. Yeah, we're going to see what happens, I guess. Okay, I'm, I'm off. Yep. All of a sudden it stopped completely. Yeah. Yeah. I can smell it. It stopped firing. Like almost like all the injectors said no. Or all the coils said no. Are all our things tight? Or uh excuse me? This ground. I don't know what we're talking about when we say things at this point. This oh, isn't tight right there. Ground. Oh that's our ground. That's the main ground. Just try and tighten this one maybe. Yeah.
burns the eyes though. That like yeah. whatever the fresh fire is. Oh. What do you mean fresh fire? It's smoking a little bit because there's no coolant in it, so that's why I shut it down. There's no. Oh yeah, right. And a mixture of the uh, gross overfueling that I assume because the fuel pressure is set by Ray Charles. But we know it works. It sounds snotty. It does. It sounds a little mean, bitch. That's a well. That cam is bigger than yours or mine. Yeah, hogged out cam, baby. Woo! It's three quarter race cam, isn't it? But now Holly that double oh pumper. My God. now that I know that it runs, it's so much like it's the morale just to get it. <laughs> it's a nice day. Needs to be now is yeah. way better. Sunny day doesn't yeah. hurt. That. And now you're in no rush because you yeah. ain't getting out the alleyway either way. The fact that we had a sunny day, we're out shit boxing around on the shit boxes for a little bit. And we got this to start is like... And Wes marinated meat. <laughs> and Wes has the meat coming up. Smoked your meat for you. Ooh. <laughs> homies all the homies on board today got the car running which was the biggest thing that i wanted to get done because it, it not only increases morale but it's cool as heck it sounded awesome we just fired up a second time it ran at like 900 rpm at idle and, and worked flawlessly it just fired right up now that we know all our systems work it's time to permanently mount them in the back uh i didn't want to permanently mount them knowing that it didn't work it was kind of messed with my head knowing that the engine didn't run last time right and we had to like keep cranking it to get it to work. So I appreciate Wes for all his help. I appreciate Tokyo and Dan for their help. You can get all your merch, boostedlifestyle.com. Check it out, the link is down below. Cool hats too. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel, liking the video. Peace easy, get that V.